Hey guys, welcome to Bumpy TV, guys. They're going to check it out. Feminist question Muslim Muhammad Hijab versus Feminist speaker. Guys, I don't really understand the title, but that was it. Guys, let's get straight into this. In Arabic. So if there's a group of men and women, it's hum. Yeah. If there's a group of females, it's hunna. Uh huh. If, if there's a group of uh, majority females, it's honna. It's, it's, it's like, you know, the, they, yeah? And there's a group of the only men. Only men, there is no, that's the thing. You could argue that there is no specific, like here, hum, it's men and women. And it's only men as well. Whereas you have two pronouns that can be- It's uh, the same as Spanish. No, 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 maybe, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a Spanish speaker. It's the same as Spanish. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so you can't really argue this. Let me say why, right? Why not? Because let me give you one verse in the Quran, yeah? It says in Surah Al-Ahzab, chapter 33 of the Quran, Min al rijal. From and the word here is mu'minin, the believers. The believers are men. From the believers are men. Yeah. Now, mu'minina is in the hum form. Hum refers to both men and women. This is the proof of it. Yeah. And here is extrapolating the men out of the group of men and women. You get it. The point is, you could argue that hum refers to either all men and or men and women. Whereas honna refers to only all women, so there are two yeah, but, there are but, two but pronouns. You don't have a word. That, the, but there are two pronouns in Arabic that refer to women and only one that refer to men. No, but that's because the the word for men is all inclusive. If you there's no, it's the same way in Spanish. It's that the men. So what? Is, if there's one no, man, no, no, but the that, group is considered all men. No, no, that's no, the point. no, no. That's not how it's in Arabic. Say for example, you've got if you've got majority if you've got a majority woman and you have one man. Then really, this is a group of females. Majority is females. Uh huh. Okay, so in your face. Yes. So if you have a group of people and there were a hundred women there and there's one man. Yes. Which pronoun do you use? The if there's a hundred and women. If there was a hundred, no, you'd use the one for females. Okay. Because it would confuse the people. <laughs> you would say hunna because it's majority females and it would confuse people. Yeah, because it's a hundred women is a lot. Anyways, going back to what we were talking about. We got sidetracked now to language. Yes. By the way, there's, there's well, some I, interesting... I was much more comfortable with the philosophy argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I going back... No, no, but it's, it's good. Uh, do you know something else interestingly, yeah? You can use... You can use something... My, I can or we can? No, in Arabic. Pronouns are very important, don't you think? Why do you think they're important? Because when you're speaking to me, and you say, you can do this and you can do that, it feels accusatory in a way. And it's something that we can all do. And but, I feel like yeah, you're speaking to but, the crowd, but, but I'm, not just to me. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah. But do you get what I'm saying, and, yeah? Sure. All right. So, in a nutshell, the reasons I can't tell you all the reasons. For example, the hijab is mentioned in the Quran. Why? Is, why the hijab is prescribed? I thought it wasn't. No, the hijab, that particular, it says fala uh, fala So the reason why, one of the reasons behind it is so that women don't get exploited by men. But one why of the reasons behind we it. Focus on the men exploiting. We are as well because there's there's a, there's a whole injunction for men to lower their gaze, and so there's another injunction for women to protect themselves but in if, a sense. But if, mm, but if men are lowering their gaze, then why would women have to come They're not, that's the body? problem. We're not lowering our and, gaze. And why is it that like women wouldn't be attracted to men and look at men in a sexual way? The same well, way? That's, that's the thing. We go back to our biology, psychology and physiology. We're saying that we're different. Men and women are I fundamentally, pardon? I have a libido. Yes, a but it's not the same. Libido. It's not the same as the man's libido. Whatever you want to do, it's not going to be the same. That's a very general a bit, statement. Well, just, oh, just no, I'm not. I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying. Statement. I'm not saying it's less or more. Big, a I'm not saying. <laughs> listen, the other day. I'm not saying it's. <laughs> yeah, you're going red, my friend. <laughs> listen, I'm not saying it's less or more. Yeah, I'm not saying it's more intense or less intense. I'm just saying it's different. Would you agree with that? Most studies that I've looked at. Most I don't believe okay. in just two genders. Well, well, look, most sexual. studies that I've looked at have shown that men have more of an instant impulse, whereas women are more. Slow burners, if you like. So I think I mean, that has to do more with some socialization that's happening, especially today. No, I don't think so. I think generally speaking, you know, women are more slow burners when it comes to sexual activity, whereas men are more instantly that. activated. I think we want to say that, and that's why we don't have a positive word to discuss women who like to have sex with multiple partners or lots of sex with we one do, partner. We have that. We have those words. But Mamie, you, that word? you do not have any room to maneuver here. Anyway. In Pardon? English, because I'm talking it's in your religion. Polygamy. It's in your creed. You can't change it. No. Yeah, polygamy. It's not for a man. Polygyny is for a man. No. Yes, yes. Polygyny is for a man, right? Yes, yes. Get the dictionary. Polygamy is for men and women, both of them. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking more yeah. about polyamory. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah that polyandry as well. That's for women specifically. No, no, polyandry is for women to have multiple husbands. Yes, yes. So there is a polyamory. A What's that? Polyamory is literally polyamory, the love for more than one person. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, I don't know that. Sounds good. So no, Let's but so, so we do have the word there. What's the problem? No, I'm not talking about the concept of being able to do that. I'm saying, what do you call a woman in the most positive way possible who enjoys having sex a lot? Why, why? There's only one word, and it's a terrible word. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to repeat it. No, no, and no. And what no, do you no. call a man who likes to have lots of sex? That's going to be a positive word. Yeah, I agree no, with that. I agree with that. Look, 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 look. Let me tell you something. Islamic. Wait, but you didn't tell me. I don't know. In English. Yeah, in English. I don't know. Man. I don't know if you Usually have those words. In in he's smiling. I think he knows. No, no he? look. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Joking. I'm not disagreeing with I'm you on this. Sure. This is a point of agreement. I think this is not a point of disagreement. I, I agree that when women do it and whatever men do, it, that that's a point of agreement. It's not, it's not disagreement. What I'm gonna say to you, what I'm gonna say to you is that, generally speaking, things like polygamy, the hijab, all of those things. Are, are in, a, in a sentence explained by the fact that there are differences. He's going to say it's your genetics, basically. That's it. But there are differences, but like, so what? Okay. Why would that? That's exactly the argument that, of the feminist. Why would that relegate Sorry. a woman to have to cover her entire body? Let me ask or you then. Cover her Good. Face? Good. Why? Let me ask you a question. Why it's are we? The same argument no, 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 no. That for that's women who that's like, a very. Oh, what are you wearing? No, no, no. That's, that's very good. Yeah. Now, now we're going somewhere. So you're saying there are differences, but we should disregard the differences. Not disregard them. But so what like, should we do? What should we do with the differences? How should how should we account it's them? It's the same way that I think that a, what a woman wears in the street should not determine whether she's rapeable or not. We should be. T t or, my father wanted to keep me in the house when I was young because no, he was no. so afraid that I would be assaulted. And yeah, no, instead, no, he should have been out on the streets talking to the young men no, no, who might want wait, sorry, who might want to assault me. Yeah. He should be speaking to those men. The men should be speaking to other men. It shouldn't be about keeping women in the house okay. and keeping them covered while they. Walk uh, no problem. The I'm, I'm asking a, a simple so question. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got that. Okay. I got that argument. I understand it. What I'm asking you is, we agree that there are differences. There are two. There are two ways we're dealing with this. Yeah, but I we can we either about those differences. We, we either accept those differences and account for them, or disregard those differences. What should we do? Well, there's, no, there's a mid ground. I don't think you can. Say What's the middle ground? Tell me what the middle ground is. I don't know. I just feel like if we're if we're smart enough to be able to develop books and laws that are going to dictate how we live our lives, we can develop something that doesn't say that women have to behave a certain no, way but, in order to no, no, but, stop themselves but Christi from being raped. But Christina, but Christina, freedom expression. But Christina, you, you see, the question I'm asking you is very profound. Don't and you know, it's actually the building. Look, I want you to understand something, right? Before we can, we can't build castles on thin air. Okay? Arguments are like. We can build them on sand, though. Right? Yeah. No, it will be weak foundations. I'm from the beach, though. But I've okay. Seen castles built on sand. No, what I'm saying maybe they're uh, <laughs> sand castles. What I'm talking about here is, yeah, if we want to have a co coherent, logical understanding of why why we're doing certain things, we have to actually have a foundation which is quite solid and firm. So here, the, the, as we can see here. We've identified that there are differences between men and women. Now we've we've seen that there are two ways of dealing with those things. In a, in a nutshell, you can either account for those differences or disregard those differences. Now I'm asking you, what should we do? Well, the thing and is, why? And because, why is one? Because I don't agree that it's about differences. What I believe is that men have a men have an ego problem, okay. and they have a jealousy problem. And they view women as why is that a problem? And they view women as their property. Okay, maybe so, that's what not only do they not want to see, I think it's just about them not wanting like to have also, their I mean, property like violated by another man. Okay, that's that, what I think. That stuff I agree it with. Has no problem. To do with protecting uh, women. Me and you agree with the same thing. All right. Guys, if there's any man watching this, I'm pretty sure you don't want to share your mom with anybody. And I don't know why this woman is trying to see women are. That is the thing. I feel based on where we have reached, like 21st century, now women feel like they have the right to actually like have sex with a lot of people. But it's cool. It's cool. But if you want to get married, like if you're Christian, you're Muslim, you believe in any religion, you know that it's actually not good. It's a sin for you to actually be sleeping with different people and or dating I would say dating someone and still sleeping with other people, getting married and still sleeping with other people. You are supposed to be focused on your partner. And this goes for men and women. Because as a man, you can't say you have a wife and you are sleeping outside. It's wrong. It's better for you to marry two wives, then you know you are married to them. And 
for you to take care of two women guys in the same house like your mental health is gonna be at stake but i don't have some people do it but if you're able to do it it's better than for you to be cheating out sorry i get her point like the point that she said when she was like a man is supposed like how dad is supposed to be like outside talking to men to not like to not like rape women or treat them in any sort of way but i feel east time have a solution to that because you know that when you commit rape you're gonna die and it's actually something that will scare a lot of men from actually trying that kind of robbery but to be honest i feel people haven't talked about women are trying raping guys but i feel this is actually a topic that people don't talk about like we see men as okay the world see men as people that always want sex but if you kind of know some men very well they want it but most of them has been abused that is the truth so men have been abused from birth like especially their young teenage life like they have been abused by aunties other ones like and this is actually something that women and a lot of people don't actually talk about both the men like they feel ashamed to talk about it because it's gonna be like you were not with bro. like he just had fun but deep down like he he knows what he's facing like he knows what he faced being raped by an elder one but like i actually get her point like her point is valid but i feel it's not actually have a solution to it because when you know you commit that kind of crime you're gonna get killed so it's gonna keep you from committing and it's better for the women to actually kind of stop it from happening by covering up so like the man does not really but i think what will happen will happen and some people have to pay the consequences of their action but let's just get back into this all right no problem we all agree with that you agree yeah yeah, yeah. That they we have that issue yes yes and they have they definitely walk around doing dick, no, dick competition he's yes. definitely saying something differently to you yeah i'm, I'm he's talking about genetic differences as well and you can't exclude that what i'm saying is what should we do with biological psychological and physiological differences should we should we uh, take them into consideration or should we disregard them? No, we should take them into consideration. Okay, that perfect. Mean that how? Women how? Would how? have to dress how? in a particular way. So why are you dictating that? Because men can't control them. So how do we dictate? We don't. I don't, I don't we know should if anyone do. should dictate. I'm an anarchist. Like I don't even no like problem. that label either. Like I don't want anybody yeah, but you dictating want anything. <laughs> you want to wear what you want, don't you? Do you want a man to dictate what you wear? The thing is, I yes, have to change the way that I dress because I don't want that kind of attention, and I don't want to live in a world where I have to wear a hijab or a burqa or sweatpants. No problem. No problem. I'm not telling avoid, you to do that, by the way. To avoid harassment by men. No problem. But you live in a world. Let me give, let me let me put it in a very uh, straightforward uh, parable for you, right? We live in a world. Ah! <laughs> Flashbacks. <laughs> Flashbacks. Oh shit. Okay. You got attacked, right? Last Sunday. I got attacked last Sunday. Oh, that was just last Sunday. Okay, perfect. I it, but I, he, he provoked that attack. Well, we're going to go into With this. He said he was going to apologize. I, I did, provoked him with this. You were wearing this. No, I put it on when I saw that they all want to attack me. It's his Why fault. did they want to attack you? I'll come to that after, after. We'll talk about it afterwards, yeah? But let's go back to our discussion. The point. <laughs> listen, listen. Go, on. go back to our discussion. Our discussion is. But wait, but do you agree with me that what? the reason that we have that we feel like women are supposed to be treated a certain ways because men can't control their egos and their jealousy and they feel that women are their property. Do you and know so what? You, you, okay. But you said it's genetic. Right, right. You know, wait, there's and a pre men. there's a presupposition in what you're that genetically men have to feel jealous. All those no, things. look, look. There's a presupposition. There's a presupposition in what you're saying. Which is. Which is that the prob you, you define them as problems. You could define them as either. Street harassment is a problem. Just two minutes. All right, two minutes, two minutes. Don't worry, I the, gotta go too. So. Yeah, yeah, two minutes, let me finish this. <laughs> a presupposition is He's the way. He's political wing over there. But you so, see. This, I saw his videos. I don't yeah. know about all that. Look, look, listen for a second. <laughs> there's, a, there's a presupposition. And it's the same one that De Beauvoir uses. Yeah? She, she, in her chapter of biology, she talks about how men are. Possessive this and this thing. Well, yeah, no, no, because she's she's mainstream. So I like to. I'm yeah, not going to. Like, yeah. But read some I'm black feminists. Some women. I have. I have, have, a I have read some black so feminists. Like in Ngo, uh, Ngo, uh, Ngoni, what's her name? Ngoza, whatever her name is. She yeah. wrote some little books. Uh, yeah, but she, does, she writes fiction. I'm talking. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no she, she, she wrote short uh, uh, the feminist manifesto. Why everyone should be a feminist. Whatever. Anyways, look. Going back. She's very mainstream too. Okay, I've looked at her stuff. She's she's more. I would say she's more fair. Yeah. Red bell hooks. No, not yet. Audrey Lord. Who? 
Audrey Lord? I've come across some of her stuff, but I haven't read her books yet. But I'll come. I'll, I'll, I'll write. I'll put it in my reading list. Look, yeah. What I was gonna say is that look. The point. I think you're giving Darwin. <laughs> Listen. Feminist Darwin. No, I'm, I'm open, yeah, to he's, a reading. He's not. He's to a reading, not to. Well, you're reading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there's reading. a lot of reading yeah, yeah. besides his his one book. I know people who are just like, that's my book. That's all I need. So yeah. you're not that person. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for that. I think he so I was saying to you, look. Yeah, we'll come to that. The, the presupposition is how many is, yeah should be disregarded or should be seen as negative or should be uh, always the problem of men okay so it's a, it's a problem for us it's the, really the problem of women it's men so now but how, how do we how okay how do we solve this problem we've got men let's say that are, um, have certain traits that are differentiated from women that we want to do this and we want to do that we're more polygamous we're with this we're that beings, we're more so. aggressive 99.9% .9 of people in prison are men whatever yeah all of those things yeah, but, that's but he wants doctrine so he wants, what do we do with that, doctrine solves that how do we prescribe what do we would not agree with that yeah. what, at all what, what, what I'm saying is what is the solution what is your solution for it have you got a solution for it education for how, how, education. how men wouldn't assault women education right like, education it has to be that to, children, to teach children to treat women with respect and for men okay. to be treated with respect. Let's say is education is a good thing it's, and it's I, we agree with it. No problem. Yeah. No, let's do education. I mean, but what I'm saying is this. If you're saying that women will be exploited by men, and let's be... Arbitrary. Yeah, no, arbitrary. sexually this is whatever. Eradicate all of it. No, no problem. Shouldn't women take precautions? Yeah, but precautions doesn't mean that we should stay home. I'm not saying that. Dress in a I'm not, no, but I'm way. saying, I'm not, what I'm saying is this. What precautions have proved to be more successful? I don't think wearing those clothes has been very successful. No, but let me ask you a question. I go out in the street with baggy no, no, jeans no. and whatever and like no, it doesn't no, 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 matter. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me, once again, right? Precautions which prevent. And as I said with education and you're saying education, I'm talking about. Education. Okay. I'm talking. So, like, so would you, do you agree? Beings. Do you don't agree? Do you think men and you know, inherently, yeah. biologically, yeah. I really just want to ravage a woman when I see her. But you know what? I won't do that no, because I understand, it's understand. wrong. No, I, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, Can I yeah, this is your freedom of speech to be who you are as a man biologically, but actually you cannot infringe upon couple, my rights to a be a woman. Yeah, and we're different. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But sorry, a just one, one, one point. They actually asked me. They said, "Why don't I rape? If I if I'm not if I'm not religious, I have no morals. I'm an atheist. Why don't I rape?" It's very interesting. <laughs> really? thing. Yeah, they asked me that. As if I have no innate morality. <laughs> Which I do. If you do, well, you got to ask where it came from. All right. So evolution, if that's it, my friend. But no. we'll have that discussion another time. No, no. Uh, evolution. That's a different case. All right. So in you a nutshell, go. in a nutshell, in, a, in, a, in a one word, we would say that one one measure, which forces men not to look at women. No. Is no. Uh, force no. Them. Hold on. It does. A certain. Pr if if we're, if we're, so we're saying that you don't want men to to look at you as com commodities or, or objectify you, right? One measure that forces that is privatization of the ornaments of women. It forces that. You can't, you can't feast on or exploit that which you can't see. I saw women wearing... Do you see what I'm saying? Wearing jalabas that really like yeah, I agree. showed that's, that's their wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. beautiful yeah, curves. So like Anyways. I don't know. Okay, sorry. Mamet, pleasure. Oh, oh, I don't. <laughs> Mamet, you're right. Yeah. I, 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 Assalamu alaikum. My name is Vegar and I'm a Norwegian Muslim comrade. I'm working with the Dawah organization Islamnet to establish the Deen of Allah here in Norway. We give Dawah and present Islam to the Norwegian people. Isn't that great? To be more efficient in our Dawah, we are establishing a first of its kind Masjid and Dawah Center, where we will have Islamic programs, classes, lectures and education for non-Muslims. I am so grateful to Allah for having guided me to Islam. Sadly, I am the only Muslim in my family. It hurts me that my parents haven't accepted Islam yet, and I ask Allah to guide them. But it also gives me a special drive to work for the establishment of Islam. I don't want anyone to miss the chance of becoming Muslim. Maybe my mom and dad become Muslim one day thanks to you. If we can establish this center, I could bring my parents to come and learn about Islam in our native language which is a challenge today with the mosque here speaking Somali, Arabic and Urdu. The Prophet وسلم, said that the Muslims are like one body. If you can feel my pain, would you please help me relieve it? You are now my new family. Click the link and donate to establish this masjid and share in the reward for the message of Islam reaching... Guys, 
we're done with the video, but I really want you to understand that I'm this kind of open minded person, so I'm trying to understand where she's coming from. But I understand what the guy is saying, like the guy's on the 80s, I don't know what she believes in, and the other guy's a Muslim. But she's saying that the guy's supposed to be educated. I feel the uh because if you listen to Mufti Mek lectures and Zaki Nang, I feel those those two people I just call like the lectures actually tell men to look at gays, especially Mufti Mek. Like he always remind men that you're not supposed to be staring at a woman. Like those a day in my school, like I passed this Muslim lady and she like lowered her head like it was like I just like I was seeing Mufti Mek like it was amazing like I smiled after that but like I like damn this actually happened but some people don't but some people do most people actually do the weather case and it's very very beautiful guy but but by her solution I feel education is going to actually work because if you think of it men supposed to be educated about you treat women with a lot of respect. Like, <laughs> I grew up having sisters and with my mom, so I feel girls are supposed to give some respect, but some respect to some certain limit. But, like, it's not to give them that respect, shouldn't that respect that you're not supposed to do some certain things to them, like, make them feel like women. Like, but women are complicated, guys, I will say. They are really really complicated but guys go to the end of this video guys don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel drop your thoughts on the comment section guys guys we'll see you next time first